Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Sarah and Philippa from We Are Twin Set. Today's video is gonna be a bit of a beauty kind of lowdown, I would say. We keep, <laughs> between us, keep mentioning, oh, we're you using this product, or I've started to use this, so we kind of just thought we'll, we'll have share them with chat. you guys, because we realized, obviously, Phil's was on maternity leave, and we've been trying out some new things. Normally, we always share like our new finds, what we're loving for our skin, and we hadn't done it. So we keep just saying, oh, this new mascara, this, so we thought we'd have an open chat, share with you guys our new finds, what we're loving, and why we're loving it. Beauty. And don't you find at the beginning of the year, I do anyway, I kind of invest in beauty, or like, I feel like I need a shampoo, I or need I need a, a new. I just need a revamp yeah. of things as well. So we found some great bits that we think you guys will love as well. So are you gonna start? Should I start? I'll start. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by showing you my new foundations that I'm loving. I've got two different variations that I use for different purposes. Mm -hmm. So obviously, when we're shooting for twins that need a little bit more coverage, and when I'm with the babies, I just, I need a little bit of coverage, but I don't wanna feel caked in makeup, especially also with Ava, like, so close to my face, I hate having makeup on and my And also, clothes. don't you find, if you're wearing loads of makeup, and they kind of smear it and exactly. then you've got like a patch missing on your yeah, face. I hate that. So, NARS Radiance Foundation. Let she me got tell me into you, this. it is the dream. I love it. I've been wearing it for a long, long you time. For what? Did you sw shop and change and now you're back on it? Um, no, not since I've started using this. I was using Estee Lauder Double Wear Light, which I do really like still, but since wearing this, it's almost the same coverage, but doesn't feel as thick. Um, so I've been, obviously, if I've got a tan or if I don't have a tan, and they bring out new shades. So I have been trying out a few different shades. At the moment, I'm using this one called Santa Fe. I'm the same colour, because quite because yeah. we put it on stories and quite a few people asked. Is there a number to it as well? I don't think so. M2, M2. Santa Fe, we'll link everything below. Um, it's a really great colour for me at the moment, and obviously for you. It's called the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. What more do you need in life? I've got it on today, have you? I have. Do you, how do you apply it? See, I use a beauty blender, what do you do? So I, not this brush, but I use like a blending brush. Okay. So I like do a few blobs, yeah. and then I don't use a, I know you like one of those squidgy yeah, things. Yeah, sponges. So you... And also, what I love about it is, like you said, the coverage is really, really good, but it blends in so nicely, it doesn't feel thick and heavy, because I just, even though I try, sometimes you can get that dreaded line, yeah. and that you just you don't. don't get. So that's on days where on the weekends, date night, work days, that's what I use. But on days that I've got the babies, I've been using, they've bought this out, it's a new launch, and it's on the same collection of the Radiance Foundation, but it's called the Tinted Glow Booster. So they've just launched this product. So I kind of use it as a primer too, yeah. on days that I don't need something so heavy. And then on top, which I found from our very good friend, Holly Scarcella, who is, Beauts, beauts, basically, you just want to look like her. She t um, put on stories that she was using this Bare Minerals Compact Foundation, so obviously I went to Boots straight away and bought it. And I have to say, it, have you tried it? It's really good, I do it like it. It is really, really good. It, I'm wearing it in toffee, which seems to be a good shade. So you wear it as a foundation? So I, put, like a I use the booster yeah. first, just to kind of get a good glow. Um, and to almost like a primer, as I said. Then it does come with a comp with a um, sponge, which I have tried, but I found that it made it a little bit too cakey. Okay. Because it because of it being like a flat compact, so I actually prefer to use it with one of these blending brushes, and, and then in. yeah, almost like paint your face, but you can do it lightly. And because of those like fiber tip bristles, it kind of goes. A like a bit more natural. So anyway, natural that was quite face. long, but, that, but those are my two favorite foundation options that I really am enjoying. I'm gonna apologize for sniffling because I've got a stinking cold <laughs> and I'm trying not to breathe on Philippa. But carrying on with the mum, yes. mum makeup, mum hacks, we were having a conversation, was it last week, about not liking to wear lipstick when we're yeah. with the boys, or the kids, sorry. Yeah. Not liking to wear lipstick, but Philippa doesn't like a gloss. I don't mind like a non-gloopy gloss. I just happened to be looking at my makeup bag. Have you found one? I have found this something. One. This is this is something that I've loved and I've forgotten about. So it's I'm re-loving it as of the past couple of days, but I have previously loved it. So it's not just something I'm shouting about after two seconds. Let me tell you, it's this Bobbi Brown. It's called Pot Rouge for Lips and Cheeks. Okay. This is exactly because and so, it's not sticky. It's not sticky. In the summer, when I'm a bit more dewy, I quite like it on my cheeks, but you're not gonna be able to see. It is like 
a lovely colour and it's matte on the lips but give you coverage, not gloopy, not too glossy. I just realised I don't have any, I've only got um, balm on, Go so on actually then. this is what I need in my life. Do it, do it gently, like as in don't put too much on. But it gives the consistency <gasps> the of the lipstick. No, I need. How amazing is that? Because it's not sticky, but it's, it's not coverage, sticky, but, but I don't not wear lipstick. lipstick. <gasps> and isn't it a good colour? Wait, what colour is it? No, sorry, 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 sorry. We might have to go out and get this. Yeah, today. it's called Powder Pink Number Six. Powder Pink. So I don't know how I've forgotten about it, but I found it yesterday. I put it on, and I was like, "This is exactly what we've been yes, looking for." Yes, and it's not sticky. That color is really nice. Not sticky, but not lipstick and not gloss. It's like that perfect in between. And I also well done, love. Yeah. It's a great piece for holiday because I don't love taking like loads and loads of makeup on holiday. So the fact that it's lip and cheek Two in one. means that obviously it's one less thing to take. And it stays on and it's really handy for mum, goes in your bag and... I'm impressed with that, BF. Yeah. We're impressed. Done. So that is a couple of mum hacks for you. So next up, should I talk through the cleanser? Again, this isn't actually a new year favourite. This is a favourite that I've been kind of obsessed with. But I don't with. think you've spoken about it on no. the year. But I feel like I really need to shout out to Votary. What was my skin, what did my skin used to be like? Terrible. It was never terrible. It was ter I used to have boils here. Any product I put on my skin would flare it up. But Votary has sorted my skin out. Would you really say I, it's that? I prompt. Well, maybe. It, who knows? You just never yeah. know with these. Is it? But it hasn't aggravated as well. It has not aggravated product. it. So we were having this conversation, and this is why I wanted to share and shout out about Votary because I told Sarah to start using Votary. Right. So I'm using the cleansing oil. So that, you use that, you take your makeup off and then you cleanse with that. Yeah, so I use, I use like a really cheap, I've got a... Um, my cellular water or something. Yeah, yeah, just to get rid of my uh, mascara and eyeliner. And then wet my face, put this on, put this on, smear it all over, then get a flannel with a, like a really hot flannel, which is really nice at the end of the day when you just wanna wash the day away. And just, it only really, it's so good that you only need to use it once. You don't have to like reapply it. So that's the cleanser. And then this is the Super Seed Facial Oil, which doesn't really have a scent, which I quite like. We smell. It's like, it smells like healthy. Healthy, <laughs> like green, it smells yeah. green. But it's really, really nice. It's really moisturizing. And you know what I'm like about feeling oily and sticky. You don't feel, it's, it sinks in really nicely. It's fragrance free but it's like healthy fragrance. And you always use them together? Together. Okay. I feel like you have to, they're like a pair and just don't separate them, but yeah. And it's a natural brand, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going in with another makeup piece. Now, I've always been really loyal to the Charlotte Tilbury Supermodel Brow. Mm -hmm. I love it. I do get my eyebrows tinted and waxed, but I still feel that sometimes I need to fill them in. There, I actually have two eyebrows at the moment because a few days ago I had one and it met in the middle. So you don't have them tinted just for holidays? You I have them tinted all the time. Are you not scared that they're gonna, the hair's going to fall out? I was once told if you have them tinted too much, they can start getting... Oh, no one's told me that before. You um, if you could let me know <laughs> if that's the case because otherwise my eyebrows are falling out. So I have my eyebrows tinted, but I still like to fill them in, and I, just, I like a sharp brow. Yeah. So I've always been loyal to the Charlotte Tilbury Supermodel Brow, but recently I've been trying out the Bobbi Brown Longwear Brow Pencil. I have to say, your brows are always on point. Thank you. So and nice. do you, before, like two years, years ago, before actually filling in my eyebrows, you don't realise how important oh your my brows God. are. They I don't frame even, your I only face. think I did it, started doing it properly a few years ago. Yeah. And literally, it, it would be my desert point. island. Anyway, it's got this slanted pencil. So I kind of, I more fill in the side bits here and like a little bit at the top. So I don't like to be too heavy no. on that bit. Otherwise you look a bit. And is there a brush on the other Yeah, end? and then there's an, the other end is a brush just to comb them. And also, to, I find that helps to blend it. If you've exactly. done it a little sharp, it just smooths it and softens it. And I will say, this can't, does come out quite heavy, so don't go in too hard. Like, really go natural. Like, almost try and do, like, hair strokes. Yeah. I really like this. What and colour have you got? This colour is saddle, so it's great for kind of... My eyebrows are a bit darker than yours, so I would probably say you'd be one down. But I think it's from their core range. I really like it. It stays on all day, and... I just was shouting about it because I haven't I haven't actually tried their eyebrow pencil before and it was nice to try a new one and a new brand. So 
Very good. And another Bobbi Brown product which I want to share with you guys, which I told Sarah about and she was really excited. I got really overexcited the, about it. The Smoky Eye Mascara, as you can see, it's filthy. It's always in my makeup bag. I'm really loving it. And for me, I have been wearing Max Factor Masterpiece Foundation for about 10 years. Literally. So for me to change means that it must be good. The reason I love it is if I'm in a rush, which is most mornings, it glides on, it, the coverage is, is so, so quick. You don't have to keep is it going. it elongating and thickening? Right, and not clumpy. Mm. So it's genius. So and that's a classic black. It's the classic black, smoky eye mascara. Doesn't, um, you don't get any flakes. It I'm lasts the whole day. I'm wearing it now. No it's clumpiness. It's really good. And it's quick, it's I just separating. like that. You don't have to like keep going over the yeah. same bit. Um, would you say it comes off quite easily? Because yeah. some of them can be really annoying. No, no, no. You can't remove it. No, it's not um, waterproof. It comes off really well, but it, it also doesn't, um, it stays on throughout the day. You don't find that you get like those dark things around your you eyes. You need to get that as well. Another easy piece makeup wise that I'm going to share. Back to NARS again. Another, oh, it's dirty for my makeup bag, is the NARS Radiant Creamy you Concealer. You used to use this years ago. Okay, so I used to use this religiously. Yeah, I remember. Forever. Then I moved on to the Tarte, you know, the Shape Tape one. Yeah. Because I really do suffer from bags under my eyes. They're just really insect. I literally can't not wear concealer. And I love the Tarte, but it is... By the way, that's all in your head. Like, no. you do not have bags. It's fine. We are, we are. <laughs> anyway, I love the Tarte, but it is, like, really, 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 really thick. And I am, for some reason, I felt a bit conscious about constantly putting thick stuff under my eyes. Like, almost it's, like, going into my eyes and making yeah, it worse. I agree. So I've refound this in colour Custard, which is medium one. And the coverage is fantastic and it's not too heavy. So it's perfect. It really does cover up those dark circles, but it doesn't, I don't feel like it's sinking into my skin yeah. and kind of adding to it. Also great, like just for spots and like areas. So I normally wear it under my eyes, around my nose, which is really red today. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, chin. Yeah. And then I've got a couple of spots there. Blend it in with a beauty blender. And it kind of gives you that glow as well. I just really, really like it. And I'm really happy I found it again. Do you use this or have you ever? I have. She I doesn't have bags under her no, eyes. No, I do. I do at the moment. Two kids, hello. Do you wear, do you wear concealer? I've been wearing this. Do you like it? I, like, I have to say, NARS makeup in terms of like concealer foundations. And actually, I'm using their bronzer at the moment as well. I can't. Yeah, it's enough. really I good. think they're really, really great products. And funny enough, I don't know why I kind of we've moved away from it and come back again. But it I don't think that's a bad yeah. thing. And it's that, also good for your skin as well. Yeah, I think it's good things. to change and swap and try yeah. new things, try out different products. But yeah, I do remember that was always your go-to. It was go always to. my go-to, so I'm back in love with it again. So my last product that I want to share with you guys is a little hair product which I've been using from this lovely brand called Sasha, how would you pronounce it? Sasha Schwan? Sasha Juan. 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 Intensive hair oil. Um, have to be honest, I haven't actually, until uh, like the last few months, haven't been wearing an oil because my I hair. I haven't used Do you? Oil, no. No, I know, I've and you should, else, right? So Considering the amount. So what we, is this? It's just an intensive hair oil. So I wash my Post. hair post after, after washing your hair before styling so at the moment i'm using a um, moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner i i chop and i like we do we use red ken we use the way but it's Keras have you tried their shampoo and conditioner i, I that's have really yeah nice. um it's good to it's good for your hair to keep changing so at the moment that's my mix moroccan oil followed by this intensive hair oil which you only need a tiny weeny bit it on. It definitely doesn't make your hair greasy. It does not make your hair greasy. I wash my hair no, tw <laughs> twice, twice a week. and it, it looks really glossy. Yeah. I don't, you know, you don't do it here. Yeah. Literally just. And is it got ends. any protectant in it or would you use a protectant as well? See, that's the thing I don't use because I don't like to have too much on my hair. For me, this it's, is enough. It's an intensive hair oil. It's going to look after my hair. Um, I don't think it's like a heat protector as such. I think it just makes sure that the ends are like in good condition. Um, smells really good as well. It's very light. Doesn't make your hair oily. And yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it. I use it every single time I wash my hair. Used it this morning. Beautiful. Talking of hair, I've been using this Way finishing cream now. I've never really used a finishing cream before, but I'm in winter, especially, my flyaway hair it's, is like that. cray cray. And also, I get like a bit like fuzzy along here. So, what I do. I have never seen your hair fuzzy. The, 
It's because you're anyway, using this. Well, because I'm using this. So what I do is I take like a tiny, I'm not going to do it now. Well, I suppose I could do it now. A tiny bit like that, like not even a pea size amount. And then I kind of just like put it through my hair like Ooh. this. Mm, good. And then it just kind of brings the curls together and flattens out. Because you know when you sometimes hairspray and you go like this, it kind of... And it's not heavy, makes, so it yeah. won't... So it just brings the curls a bit back together if you've separated them with hairspray and a brush. Doesn't that, you can see what it's done. And then I just kind of finish off the top bit. So it's a finishing cream by way and it definitely just adds that finishing touch. I sometimes over hairspray and then it gets a bit crunchy and like yeah. separaty. So this kind of brings it, brings it back together. It makes it and sometimes natural. if some of the curls have gone like a bit too separate, I kind of just twiddle them around. And I just really, I feel like it's a, it's like a hairdressy thing. So like when, you, yeah, when you go to a hairdresser and they put like all yeah. these fancy things on, I, I feel quite fancy. I wonder uses. if you could use that, say on days that you don't want to style your hair, you wash your, your hair mm. and you could just kind of put it through and let it dry naturally. Like, would you think it would be like- Well, a, it actually does say, which I haven't read yet, is a thermal protection pre blowout. So you could, yeah. you could almost use it because it's taming it yeah. as well. You could use it on the days. Yeah. So anyway, really, really enjoying this. It's quite new, so I've probably been using it about a month, but I, I'm really enjoying what it's doing for my hair. And yeah, I think you guys will like it as well. Have you got any more? I actually have one more. I don't know why we're out of sync. Oh, we're out of sync. We got a bit excited. Um, it's another, well, it's actually beauty, but I'm using it for hair as well. Back to brows, which is so important. It's just a clear brow mascara, which sometimes I like to comb through at the end. Mm -hmm. It's the Glossier one. It's a new one I've been trying. I'm not really that precious about clear mascaras. Sure, it? It's quite creamy. Well, so you use that on your eyebrows? Yeah, so you just kind of like oh, wow. brush it through and it keeps them in place. Because I... sometimes, if you're, especially if you're in between like waxing when they're like, because mine get trimmed like they're a bit long and you just need to like keep them oh. in place. It's really good. And also, not that I, I always do do my eyebrows, but if I like really can't oh, be bothered I and I just want to no, put them into shape, if I'm not worried about filling them in. However, also, Philip and I, maybe five years ago, we fell in love with what was the make? It was a clear about? hair, oh, a clear the, hair um, mascara. Oh, Ojon. Ojon? Yes. I anyway, RIP, it's, they stopped making it. It was a clear mascara and it was like, you did it for these freaky bits of hair here <laughs> yeah. that you used to poke and out here. and here. So every day when we used to do our hair, we used to mascara down. It's our basically hair. oil, hair oil, Ooh. with a in, wand. With a wand. So you could. Anyway, they don't do it anymore. <laughs> it was genius. I have been using this to do those bits. So I've got like really flyaway bits. And it won't make see. it greasy. Well, I wouldn't, I would really take off some of the, some of the product. And yeah. so I use it as a hair mascara done. as well. Eyebrows, hair, really easy piece. Um, and I've been loving that as well. So I wanted to share it with you. It's called Boy Brow. I have used it in, it comes in colors as well. So I have used the brown one before, but this was the clear one. And yeah, I think it's I like really it. I'm going to try that. Those are, well, how many do we have? Many? Nine? Well, so you, like you kind of clump things together. Yeah. Maybe like 12 things that we're loving at the moment. Just thought we'd give a bit of a chit chat, an easy catch up on things that we're really, really enjoying that have helped us feel more together sprightly and glam and, and sprightly and fresh and um, we thought it'd be interesting to share with you guys so that's this week's video thank you so much for watching we hope you enjoyed and we'll see you guys next week bye